People call the police. But who do the police and ambulance services call when a situation needs another approach? They call the mobile assistance program teams at the Bissell Center. Right now, we just received a call from EMS dispatch. And currently, they let us know that they have a team that's at the, the superstore right now. So that it's a grocery store. And they have a gentleman there that's a little bit older and heavily intoxicated. And he's having trouble walking and standing up straight. To date, the Mobile Assistance Program has helped over 80 people find permanent housing and support. What'll usually happen with somebody that's in a crisis situation in the middle of the night is police or ambulance will get involved, which is a very expensive solution, first of all, and not the best. It's, they're not able to address what might be the most appropriate thing that this person needs. Um, they may just need um, to be connected to Alberta Works and, and get on income supports. And those are things that we can help them with. They may need to go to an intox shelter or into detox. Um, these are the kinds of things that we can offer. The city partners with Bissell Centre because its mission is to end poverty. We will be probably taking him to the intox shelter for that's open during the day and it only intakes people that are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Um, usually when we pick up the person what we'll do is depending on their level of intoxication we'll have supportive conversation with them and see where they're at and if they want help and if they need resources. We work directly usually with EMS so they have our direct numbers so they're Paramedics are also able to contact us, not only just through the police. We get a variety of different calls on a daily basis. Um, a lot of, we get typically people that are leaving domestic situations where they could it could potentially end up dangerous, so they'll wanna go and, and retreat to a shelter. We typically, every team, has what they call their roots are hot spots for a lot of heavily populated areas with homeless or or just anybody that's kind of living on the street and, and such so each team will go out and you know if we see a man sleeping on this uh, bus bench we'll stop and are you okay do you need any services do you want to ride somewhere and typically they'll end up coming with us and we'll transport to somewhere safer Bissell Center is supported by your generous gifts to the Mission and Service Fund. Thank you, and please continue to give. So Bissell can continue to be an incubator for programs that help people break the cycles of poverty and addiction.